Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. And if my background looks different in this video, that is because we are doing an eyeshadow palette collection video. This video is going to be a long one, so if you don't have a snack, a drink, some alcohol, <laughs> um, time for a bathroom break, whatever it may be, then you might want to add this to your watch later video because this is a long video. I have a total of 90 eyeshadow palettes behind me on my vanity, and I guess you can say I'm a hoarder. Like, I when I was counting through these and I got to 80 and I'm like, did you have 80 freaking palettes? Like... Oh my gosh, so I'm going to keep the rambling to a minimum and if you aren't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you're interested in seeing what my 90 eyeshadow palettes are, then please keep on watching. So I'm just going to go from left to right and just clear this vanity off. Uh, <clears throat> some of these palettes I'm probably going to be giving away because I've had them for a while, don't get much use out of it, whatever it may be. So I'm going to keep the minimum, like keep the talking about each palette to a minimum so we're not getting like too long but the first palette is the Lorac Pro palette if you guys are a makeup enthusiast makeup junkie then you know the Lorac Pro palette this palette was so popular and now I hear no one talk about it and as you can see these two colors were my absolute favorite um, back when this came out I was super excited to get it it was super expensive it was like one of my first like really high-end expensive products to buy but the quality was it just wasn't that good like I don't remember why everyone like like the shadows are powdery like the shimmers weren't very great like it, and the color scheme was boring as fuck so I don't know besides me just following the hype and trying to get into the makeup gang I don't know why I like was all over this palette but that's Laura Pro palette then I have this ColourPop semi and precious palette this came out of a boxycharm box I don't touch this palette at all like Honestly, I just keep it because it's a shat, like it's an eyeshadow palette full of shimmers, but nothing special about this palette. The next palette is the Ace Beauté Grandiose Palette. I just did a look with this palette. I do enjoy this palette. I want to get more looks using this palette. It's super hard, um, but I do like this palette. This also came out of a BoxyCharm box. This next palette also came out of a BoxyCharm box. This is the Alamar Cosmetics Palette. Fun fact about that. Um, me and my boyfriend, or my fiance, Jack, myself, and his mom were talking about like what I wanted to name my cosmetic brand. And I've always had this vision of my brand being LSKM because that's my initials, Lanya Simone Catrice Maiden. And that was like when I was big into fashion, I like wanted to be a fashion designer. Um, that was gonna be my brand name. My mom had sketches of my like dresses that I made. Like I had an entire notebook, not even kidding you guys, full of sketches with like colored pencils and stuff they were like amateur sketches but I was just so obsessed with drawing dresses and different ideas and outfits and things like that and we came up with the LSKM line and then when we were talking about my line now that I get married because I am going to take his name but I'm going to leave my name on YouTube Lanya Maiden as well as um I'm going to probably hyphenate on Instagram and then I'll change it over to Rutherford on e not YouTube on Facebook, which I don't add people on Facebook, so don't add me on Facebook. <laughs> but, um, so, fun fact, LMR, and we were going to spell it E-L-M-A-R, yeah, L-E-L, no, E-L-E-M-A-R. So, I guess close to this, so every time I say LMR, I think of LMR, like what I was going to name my brand, but anyways, and that just stands for Lanye maiden rutherford since it would be like hyphenated but it's not gonna be hyphenated anyways so that is this palette i got out of a boxy charm box and i really love the shimmers in this palette i like this palette i like in general but i just never have the time to reach for it i feel really bad with a lot of these palettes like i get them and i use them like once or twice if it's not like for a palette series and then it just kind of goes to the side and i like never touched again but the next palette is the Juvia's Place the Nub Nubian this was like one of the first palettes that they came out with I do enjoy this palette I will be doing a palette series with my Juvia's Place palettes once I get them I did order them so you guys can get up off my back now <laughs> I have some Juvia's Place palettes coming, so I will include this palette and the other palettes that I have, and I'll do a look for each palette during the week. That I am really excited about because this palette was great, but I felt like it was just really 
it was just kind of like mm, like meh like it, the quality wasn't like oh my gosh this is so buttery so it just wasn't like that but I'm excited to see how the newer palettes are since I know she has been you know making some new palettes then the next one is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette I did do a look I think I did a couple looks using this palette this palette is nice um, but it's not something that I reach for I do like the shimmers and I understand that you have to use their primer with their eyeshadow palettes for it to be really pigmented but I, that was one of my uh, concerns in that eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette tutorial was that I, it kind of was just like mm, like okay it's great it's great like that's kind of how I feel about all of the Fenty products but like don't come at me okay like I don't need that today <laughs> The next palette is the Carly Bible palette. This is the first one. I thought this palette was great. I thought it was a really good concept with the lighter highlighters all the way to the darker highlighters. As you can see, I use this one a lot. I got this one used a lot as well for my deeper, darker skin tones. And then they're buttery, buttery, really buttery eyeshadows. Like, I love those eyeshadows, but I felt like this palette was kind of boring. Um, this is very her, though, so I felt like she needed, like, a couple extra darker colors if I were to create an initial palette it would kind of look like an initial neutrals palette that is probably what I would do with my first brand collaboration is create a neutrals palette with probably some highlighters like this and uh, but the top the top row would be a lot different I would have some deeper darker browns um, I do like this coppery shade I do like both of these shimmer shimmery shades the matte shade but then this shade right here I would keep a maroon I would add a couple of deeper darker browns and maybe a transition shade because there's not really much of a transition shade but I did enjoy this palette when it first came out so moving on to the palettes that I keep on my LAC shelf um, I haven't gotten a chance to use this palette yet. This is the new Joseph Colors Mickey collection. I got this in PR. I will be reviewing it. So the only reason I'm not doing this video today is because my makeup is already done and I feel really um, antsy about doing my makeup, having to take it off, and then redoing it. So I'm trying to limit um, wasting makeup. <laughs> Um, but this is the eyeshadow palette. You guys get a little sneak peek before I do my review on it. I don't have an opinion on it. It is just a part of my eyeshadow collection. There is a highlighter here, which I know might be a little too frosty, a little too shimmery. But we'll see. We'll see. It's a nice little scheme. Um, you get the, a red, like a burgundy red, which I do enjoy. This looks like a dark purple, maybe blue, which these two would be really pretty together. And then you get a couple of neutrals. So, you know pretty nice we'll see I don't know but the next one is the I love Sarahi and boy are these shimmers in this palette oh, like I might like I feel like like jittery thinking about it like these are some buttery ass shimmers like they did their thing on this and I do like her color selection I love that she put a teal I've been so into teals lately don't ask me why the shimmery black I haven't tried yet but it does look really pretty then there's like a, a peachy and a reddish brown a gold which that gold is beautiful and then like a frosty kind of um like like pink it has like pink hues I guess you could say like a pinky kind of tone and then I have the ColourPop Karuchi brown sugar palette which y'all know I do like this palette it's really small it's nice and sturdy so you can take this with traveling and not have to worry about it being plastic or like this one's more of a like a cardboard packaging this more of a plastic packaging um the shadow is that shadow was coming out but these shimmers in this palette are really nice and buttery as well I like the array of browns and then the neutrals up here I just like this color scheme in total like I don't know I've been really into neutrals palette lately and like the more and more I think about it the more and more I'm like yes for your first brand collaboration you need to do a neutrals palette because everyone needs a good quality neutrals palette hit me up brands <laughs> The next palette is the Tartlet and Bloom palette. I was in love with this palette when it first came out. It has a couple of uh, warmer shades and then these browns right here. Boy, these browns are dark. Like, I use these when I don't want to use black on my clients to smudge out their waterline to give them that soft, sultry kind of look. I use these two browns. Love it. The shimmers in this palette are really great as well. These palettes on Sephora.com are $19 right now, so if you aren't, uh, if you don't have these palettes, I would definitely grab them while they're, I think they're like 
50% off, maybe 45% off, something like that. This is the Tartlet Toasted Palette. I haven't done a complete makeup tutorial with it, but I did use a couple of shades in my bridal makeup tutorial, but I do really enjoy this palette. So far, so good. I, I mean, Tarte eyeshadow palettes are great. They smell good. <laughs> they look good they have a large size mirror um, they have a plastic container safe for traveling um, don't have to worry about anything shattering or breaking and they have the names on the palette so I have nothing but good things to say about both of these palettes they're both two of my favorites I don't really like the original one too much I think it's kind of boring honestly but those are uh, the two palettes and then now we have the makeup geek palettes I have the pumpkin spice palette and the stroke of midnight palette this palette I want to do another look with. I'm going to do a look with Insomnia and that rose gold. Uh, yes. Give it to me. Like Insomnia is just so pretty. And these are foiled eyeshadows. All of these shadows in here. So these two are duochromes and these three are foiled. <coughs> and as you guys know from that video, if you haven't seen that video, go check the video out. <coughs> I really, really love Makeup Geek's shimmers. Like, excuse me, I wouldn't say they're shimmers, but more so they're foiled in their duochrome shadows. Marlena did that. This is the Pumpkin Spice palette. I wanted to get a look up using this palette, um, but I just got bombarded with new releases and new products and everything, so I kind of put this one on the back burner, but it's a warm girl's dream, honestly. Two foiled eyeshadows. Uh, they are untamed and curtain call, and then you get more um, matte in this palette than you do. So you get uh, like a satin shade, you get two foiled, and then this is kind of like a shimmery matte. It's like a matte, but it has some like gold reflects in it. But if you, I'm sure if you blend it out, the shimmer would be gone. Or the uh, sparkle, I guess you could say, would be gone. But that is this palette. There's also Cocoa Bear in this one, which is an OG fave. So, oh, and Cherry Cola. These two are like two of my faves. So that is the Makeup Geek palette. Then I have the Perception Palette from Shayla Colourpop. I did a palette series using this palette. I loved this palette. Um, the, oh, Sassy is just like Insomnia. So, so if you have this palette, you don't really need that palette. Or if you have that palette, you don't really need this palette. But I did enjoy her color selection. Um, I felt like there should have been a dark brown as opposed to the dark maroon since there was a shimmery maroon right here. I felt like uh, that one wasn't really needed, but I thought this was a good overall palette from Shayla. The next Tarte palette that I was obsessed with is the Tardiest Pro palette. I think I've had this for about a year or two. Uh, this palette was my jam. You got four foils on the side or like, yeah, more of like their foiled shadows on the side and then a bunch of mattes. And the mattes were why I bought this palette. There is a dark purple right here and a dark brown and a black and a warm transition shade and that's all I needed. Like when I saw those four, I was like, here dang always asking for something shoot like uh it's 65 dollars i think it was 65 dollars when i bought it though so i was like but i was like you need to get that because a matte purple if there's a matte deep dark purple in a palette i am like oh ah, like thank you like a deep dark eggplant purple is so necessary for me because i'm always trying to do a purple look <laughs> so i always feel like that is necessary the next palette is the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette, which this palette is fucking gorgeous too. Like, this palette is just... She did her thing with this palette. And this is the first palette I've ever bought from Huda Beauty. This is the, like, third product I've ever bought. I have the liquid lipsticks, I have a couple of lashes, and then this palette. And the reason that I, why I pulled the plug with this palette instead of the other palettes, although they were gorgeous, it was these shimmers. Like, these, like, foiled shimmers like oh, they're just beautiful if you haven't seen my makeup tutorial with this palette yet it was just filmed last week so go check that out it is a gorgeous 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 palette so pretty i oh my gosh like that palette i'm so excited to do more looks with because it's so pretty so pretty so next i'm getting into my z palettes this is a makeup geek z palette this is i don't i think it's called like a makeup geek palette um it's a magnet palette and this has my makeup geek um eyeshadows these are some of their newer collection eyeshadows and then this is their power pigments which are their pure pigment eyeshadows so really 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 love these shadows especially when doing colorful looks i know it's not going to be patchy i know i don't need to use a specific product to go along with it 
it's going to be great. And then this yellow Z palette, which I've been loving the color yellow for some reason. Like orange is my favorite color, but yellow is a close second. And then lime green is a close third. Like those three are like my jam. So anyways, this has all of my ABH eyeshadows. I did not buy any ABH eyeshadows this Black Friday. I usually buy ABH shadows around Black Friday, Cyber Monday because they're expensive. They're more expensive, I should say. Um, so I didn't do that this year. I ended up buying a liquid lipstick set that they sent me the wrong set. I bought the deep neutrals, and they sent me the light neutrals, but they're going to send me the deep neutrals, and I'm not returning my light neutrals. So I just got two liquid lipsticks because y'all didn't do y'all goddamn job. You know? So I'm excited about that. <laughs> I don't Oh, it's over there. I opened it up, you guys. Quick fat. I opened it up, and I looked at it, and I'm like, this is not the dark neutrals so i looked up the like looked on the website and looked up the shade names and none of them matched up and i went to twitter and i'm like what is this like uh <laughs> you know like i just hate when i don't get my order right so she's like i'll send you a new one and i'm like thank you anyways these are my abh shadows and then I have my Makeup Geek blushes. These are my single blushes. And then their contour pans. And this is an Ofra highlighter, I believe. I got, like, yeah, an Ofra eyeshadow and highlighter in Bliss, which is way too light and frosty for me. But I just keep it in here because I don't really know what else to do with it. So that sits here. And then I have my large Z palettes or extra large Z palettes. And these have all of my warm Makeup Geek eyeshadows and foiled shadows. Um, so they're just all mixed up and these are my more warmer tones so as you can see I have a lot of maroons I have a lot of the browns a lot of the golds and poppers and all that but this is my most used palette like honestly like if I had one most used eyeshadow palette it's this one uh, as you guys know your girl likes her warm tones and then I have my cooler tone purples blues and greens oh my gosh look at the bottom row like from here down like Give it to me. This is like one of my favorite ones. I think this is, no, this is Houdini. Yes, this is Houdini. Oh, yes, Houdini is so pretty. Oh, is that insomnia? In a... Oh, yeah, I have insomnia in a, um, in a single form. I didn't even know I had insomnia in a single form. But look at these colors. Like, oh so pretty i am so into greens and blues and teals right now like love it okay you guys so i'm still on to the same little lack shelf the first palette i just received like last weekend and this is the elf opposites attract palette you guys were on my ass about this palette you guys wanted me to buy this palette and do a tutorial with it super affordable um but i haven't gotten to use it yet so that was going to be sometime this week but this is the palette. It reminds me of the subculture within the tones, like the greens, the purples, these like mustardy kind of color. I'm really excited to use these. I haven't used an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette, I don't think ever. So I don't really know e.l.f. I don't really know their products. I don't know their consistency. I just know that they're affordable and everyone loves them. So I'm super excited about this one. Um, it is back in stock, so we'll see how it works and then I'll let you guys know if I recommend it or not. And then I have the 3502 palette, which, okay, I lied. I think if I got m the most use out of a palette, it was this one. Not, wait, what did I say? Oh, the Makeup oh, the makeup Geek one. So back in the day, the Makeup Geek one, but like the last year, I definitely have gotten more use out of the 3502 palette than any palette. If my black wasn't broken, it would be like my dream palette. A little, a little too warm, maybe too many warm shades for me, but definitely would like I would throw in a couple of maroon shades, a couple of berry shades, a couple of deeper, darker browns than there are here, a couple of more gold shades as opposed to all the red and stuff. But it, it's pretty close to my dream palette, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then um, this is the Morphe 35M palette which is so gorgeous. I just love these lime greens up in here. Haven't really done much. Um, oh, I did do a look with the purple look, or purple in this palette, and it was gorgeous. I did it on the client, and it was gorgeous. So pretty, but I personally haven't done a purple look using this palette. These two shades right here are, like, calling me right now. Like, they're like, do a look with me. Because this is, like, a camel kind of color, and this is, like, a little more, like, bronzy kind of... Oh so pretty I have I have to I have to get a look up with those like sometime soon and then I have the 35 V palette 
which is uh, more on the blues and purples. This one was the uh, dual chromes. So a lot of the shimmers, they might look one way in the pan, but when you swatch it on your hand or on your eye, it's going to look a completely different way. It's like, the sh like a shape shifter kind of eyeshadow palette. So really pretty, also has a black which is always great. Always need to throw in a black and a palette. And then we have the 35O. This was the original one. And this one is a lot more, a little more cool over here. And then it's a little more warm over here. This palette, everyone went crazy with. This was like one of their hottest palettes. 35O, 35O2, Jaclyn Hill, and the James Charles palettes are like some of their best selling palettes. So definitely really pretty. Loved this palette. Speaking of those last two palettes, I also have the Jaclyn Hill palette. I bought this with my money, my own money. Um, I do have the newer one. They did send me the newer one with the uh, more, um, it's the more like sh shiny packaging. But I haven't really hit pan on too many shadows in this one. So I just continued to use this one. But that gold one. I mean, now yeah, let's see. I hit pan on one, two, three, four, four shades. So it's a pretty good palette, but love this palette. Y'all already know about this palette. I did a palette series with this palette, so check out my playlist if you are interested in my thoughts and my opinions. And then last but not least in this stack of eyeshadows, I have the James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist Eyeshadow Palette, which I just concluded my palette series with this palette uh, last Friday. And I know you guys were like, no, we want to see more. And you will. I, I do a lot of the looks um, with the same palettes, let's be honest. So you probably will be seeing more looks using this palette. I do want to use this lime green again. I don't know why. I'm just like on a lime green kick. Like I've just been, I've envisioned this lime green, just blown out lime green look with a little bit of glitter on the lid, lime green on the bottom, and a nice silvery inner corner. I don't know why, but I have. So um, that's probably going to be next. But super pretty palette. Love the colorfulness. And it is replacing the 35B palette. So this next stack is a stack of ABH shadows. <sighs> I'm a collector, okay? So uh, it's kind of mixed. There's a couple of... Uh, um, there's two other palettes in here that aren't ABH. But I have all of these are ABH palettes. Let's, let's show ya. Ah, there you go. My ABH palettes. <sighs> I guess you could just say I love the brand. They have really good quality products, but the two that aren't is my Desi Katie Frankation palette. This is a really pretty palette. I love that they have two mattes neutrals, also a brown and a warm reddish brown shade, and then this blue right here. I haven't gotten a look up with this, but I think I want to do it with this color. This color is like a teal with like, it's like a blue teal with purple undertones. So pretty. So you probably see like a week of teal looks, you know? Don't judge me. I'm just in that mood. And then I have the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette, which was so necessary. Um, this palette is a sparkly, shimmery, glittery kind of eyeshadow palette, and it is stunning i mean i use these palettes down to the bone like a couple of them are almost hitting pan that's how much i've used them over the last like two years i think it was um i do use this with a nyx glitter primer though i'll place the glitter primer down and then go over it with a flat brush with the shadow so pretty love these so much so for my ABH palettes, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 palettes. This is the Artist palettes, one of the first ones that they came out with. This one I just kind of hold on to as a collector's item. Um, it does have a blue, a dark blue, like a navy blue. So I keep on to it with that. This one, I forget the name of this one, but it doesn't have anything on the bag either. So this was, Jack bought me this for our anniversary back in 2013, 2014. And it's gorgeous, but I don't know what the name of it is. Then we have the ABH Shadow Couture World Traveler Palette. This palette is one of my favorites out of ABH. This palette has a black, it has a brown, it has a warm transition shade, it has a gold, it has like a silvery color, pink champagne, which is one of the most popular shades. Um, it also has a blue, purple, like this palette just had everything. 
and it was just gorgeous and it just was like me all day every day thank you very much <laughs> and then i have the master palette by mario i didn't get too many looks up with this palette um i bought this more so as a collector's item as opposed to like wanting it more so it does have isabelle and violetta which i love the two shades i feel like a palette always needs a warm brown and a warmish reddish brown peachy brown kind of shade for transition and then the rest of them are kind of like accents green blue um he's got like a pewter kind of color he's got like a shimmery cup like a couple shimmery golden kind of colors so really necessary and then we're getting into their 16 pan wait 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 14 pan eyeshadows whereas these ones were the 2 4 6 8 10 12 12 so they decided to add more eyeshadows to it this is the Soft Glam. I do have a palette series with this one, so if you want to know my thoughts and opinions, go ahead and check out the playlist for that. Um, but I do really enjoy this palette. It's one of my favorite ABH ones. And then we have Prism. Oh, I love Prism. I love, love, love Prism. Prism was my jam. This one I also have a um, playlist on. I did a palette series with as well. This palette I just felt like was just a lot of different colors, and you could just do a lot of different looks with. Um, the shimmers weren't, like, true abh shimmers i felt like they were a little subpar but i feel like they could have been better but still i love this palette and then we have the og fave modern renaissance i don't know about y'all but this one isn't my og fave like it's everybody's fave but it's not really my fave like i'm just kind of like mm, mm, mm. it's it's okay it's okay <laughs> next we have the norvina palette which is really gorgeous as well this one also wasn't like one of my faves, but I do feel like the color selection of the shimmers were really great. Wild Child, Child Rose Gold, Celestial, and Dazzling were some of my favorites out of this palette. Um, but I felt like this one was kind of like, okay, that's cool. You know, that's, that's cool. Then we have Sultry, which had the absolute best packaging they've ever done, but they missed the mark for me personally inside. I do really like Cyborg. I really like Rose Quartz, Teak, um, and Cinder, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and Slate, but that's pretty much it with this palette. A lot of you guys like the Cool Tone palettes. I'm personally not one of those people, but if you like the Cool Tone palettes, that is this one. I think I only did two looks using this palette because I just kind of wasn't enthused about it, but... Still a really pretty palette. And then we have the Subpar Subculture Palette. <laughs> the Subculture Palette could have been great. Had the consistency and the um, formula been normal. Like regular ABH products. But I don't know. Oh shit. I got eyeshadow on my pan. I don't know if they missed the mark with this. Used a new lab. What it was. But I, I just lo loved this color scheme. When I saw this palette come out I was like yes that is fall that is me i need that all day there's a mustard in this palette there's a yellow there's a couple of greenish blue colors you get a dark purple you get a dark maroon you get this kind of like grayish purpley kind of shade you get an olive green you get a brown you get like a peachy color and you get a nude like all of those mattes like you get a lot of matte she only put three shimmers in this palette but the quality was just so so bad i don't know if they fixed the quality i haven't like rebought this palette to check it out but i probably excuse me will end up rebuying it at some point just to see if the quality is better but i'm just kind of scared that they still have the old quality and they just haven't like gotten rid of them yet i don't know but next is the self-made eyeshadow palette which i also really liked as well this one had pink champagne this one had deep purple it had isla which was a, a like teal green kind of color and this was the first palette that, that they came out with the 14 or 12 shades as opposed no 14 shades as opposed to the 12 shades so they added an extra row but i did a lot of looks with this palette as well like i i enjoyed this palette as well so as you guys know i'm an abh fan <laughs> So next I have a couple of palettes that I will be giving away. This is the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette I got out of BoxyCharm box. And then the BoxyCharm Pure palette, which is like this. I haven't used this palette at all. I think I swatched one shade out of this palette. And the Pure Soray Diaries palette. Um, I just don't get much uses out of them and it's pointless for me to hold on to. Um, but this palette has... 12 shadows in it okay 
So this is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette and I loved this palette. Like this shimmer, like I use, I did a look using these two colors, these two purple colors. I did like a purple smoky eye and this is one of my no, this is the popular, the most popular um, makeup tutorial, just makeup tutorial, makeup tutorial that I've ever done. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I kind of hold on to this palette as like that sentimental kind of value type of thing. And then I just have a Z palette with extra shadows. These are some Coastal Scents, some MAC, some Morphe um, kind of shadows. It's just kind of like, you know, backup shadows. Shadows that I might not have in my regular Z palette that I might need, or I'm just a hoarder and I just hold on to it, so that's more, more so what it is. <laughs> then I have the Sephora Pro palette, which is the neutral one. I don't know, like, the name off the top of my head, but I did a palette series with this one. You guys weren't too enthused about this palette. It was pretty expensive, but I felt like the quality was, you know, well enough for it to be, you know, the price point. But I think it was, like, $40 if the price was, so... I enjoyed this palette as well. And then I have my BH Cosmetics First Edition 120 palette. This is the first palette I ever bought with my own money. So I am holding on to this bad boy. Although the quality is subpar, I don't use this palette anymore. But I'm just holding on to it because it's it's like broken. It, it, it's my baby. <laughs> so I hold on to this palette. And then I have two palettes from BH Cosmetics that I haven't gotten to use yet. Um, I will be doing a video with both of these together. This first one is the Zodiac Love Signs palette. And, you know, Team Sagittarius is our season, so it only makes sense that I do a look using our color, which they did purple for our color, which our birthstone is, I think, a, t uh, a turquoise. So I don't know why they did Capricorn in turquoise, because I'm kind of feeling a little tilted, because that's kind of like... But this is what the palette looks like. You guys get a um, a sneak peek before I do the look. There are shimmer or mattes right around the middle. <clears throat> a shimmery highlighter in the middle. And then you get these foiled shadows. And I already swatched the foiled shadows. And let me just tell you guys, they're amazing. So I just received this one today. And this is the Ultimate Matte 42 Color Shadow Palette. And it does have a, a push as opposed to just being able to pull it up. So that's different, but this is what this one looks like. It's pretty cool. It's all matte. All matte. Like, oh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like the 35B from Morphe. So you can get a lot of colorful looks. Oh, there's a navy blue down there. A couple teals, a couple greens, a couple oranges, yellow, lilac. Oh, this is a good palette. Creamy mattes, perfect for depth and blending. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm putting these two aside because I'm going to do a palette look or a look with this, these two palettes, but I'm excited. So we are moving on up, moving on up. I only have like two more stacks, but to start this stack, this stack is the stack that I keep on my shelving. I have a shelving um, <clears throat> unit organizer, whatever it may be, on the in my closet, a closet system. I have two Bobbi Brown highlighters. I'm waiting for my Bobbi Brown products. They're supposed to be sending me some makeup so I can do a full palette um, or a full face Bobbi Brown look. So I haven't used the infrared look, uh, infrared palette, but this is what it looked like. It came shattered, so that's why my palette kind of looks a little gross, <laughs> but it's really pretty. And then I have the Bobbi Brown uh, Smoky Crystals palette, which I did a look using already. And then I have the Morphe 15N. This is the Night Master palette, which I don't think I've done a look using. I don't think I've done use I've done a look using this palette. So I'll def oh I did I did I did I used the matte. So I definitely keep this one in mind when doing another look. And then I have my Becca Volcano Goddess palette, which oh, these shimmers are amazing. So pretty. Look at these. Ah, so pretty, so pretty. So I have those. And then the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palettes, which I enjoy. Wants to get more looks up using this palette as well. And then I have the two Salazi palettes, which I'm probably going to give away the Stellar palette because I'm not a cool tone girl and I just don't wear cool tones. So it would be pointless for me to keep the cool tones. And this dark purple comes in the Spellbound palette. So right there so I don't really need to keep it for that but I have both of my Stilazzi palettes I'm gonna put that in my giveaway pile and then I have my take me to Brazil palettes which hello color like 
yes i just hate that the pans are so small with these like i wish they were a little darker but i have that and then i have my carity palettes which is the picante or no i'm sorry this is the rose all day palette which is a little more pinks and then the picante palette is a little more like warmer shades i like this palette i wish the quality was a little better i don't feel like the quality is that great um, but the, the pricing is really great. I think this palette is only like 19 bucks maybe. So it's a really great like price point, but the quality is kind of like, mm, could be better. Could be better. You know what I mean? So last but not least, I have my Profusion Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes, which I will be doing a look with, uh, this week. I think I'm going to do four looks. I think I'm going to do my Zodiac. Um, I'm going to do my Dose of Colors. I'm going to do my Zodiac. I'm going to do my e.l.f. and I'm going to do my profusion. So that will be the four looks that I do this week. So, <laughs> with that being said, I have the chocolates palette that I wanted to do a look with. I have the C uh, CNS palette, which I will use in conjunction with another palette just for a transition shade. And then I just got the Wonderlust palette, which is their Christmas eyeshadow palette. And this one is really pretty. But I think I'm going to use the chocolates palette with the sienna's palette i think that's the look but dang that look is gonna kind of look similar to this one but i guess that's okay right that's okay that's okay but that is these three palettes you guys will be seeing as well and these perfusion is sold at target and it is very 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 affordable so now we are getting into uh, more shadow brush or eyeshadow palettes that are in my closet and these are the wet n wild um this is the temporary solution palette this is the palette that i was using when i was doing colorful looks last year because this is the only colorful like eyeshadow palette that was good quality so i had this one then i have two of the nyx ultimate palettes which uh, I don't really use I don't think I've ever used either one of these I just keep them for just in case you know when I'm doing like a like a um, like a drugstore type of video or an affordable type of look I just kind of keep these and then I have my Sigma Beauty eyeshadow palette so I have pretty much every single single palette that they have except for the Beauty Bird palette because they don't send me PR like unfortunately but this is the warm neutrals volume 2 palette the look that i have on my eye i used fool's gold after hours um henna and uh rogue and a little bit of bittersweet in the inner corner so that that is the palette that i use for this look then i have the smoke screen palette which looks like this this one's kind of like boring honestly all of sigma's palettes are kind of boring except for that new one this is the warm neutrals original palette it's just kind of like meh like i think they could come up with better color schemes um but unfortunately they don't <laughs> this is the brilliant and spellbinding pa spellbinding palette this was one of my favorites for the inner corner and this like this is like a gunmetal kind of shade and then the nightlife by camila cohello uh, this one's kind of pretty, and then the Wildflower, which was really, really, really boring, but I did really love the dark purple, so I kept this palette for the dark purple, but all of the older palettes are kind of like, ah, uh, like, y'all can do better type of thing, but I do like the Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette a lot better, and the quality of eyeshadow is a lot better now as well. So the last stack is Drugstore Palettes. And um, these are the three, four that I'm going to be giving away. Um, this is the Brights palette from Maybelline, the Nudes palette from Maybelline, the Rocks palette from Maybelline, and the 24 karat Nudes palette from Maybelline. I have had these for about the last two years, and I just never touch them. Never. Ever. And I bought these when I was working at Walgreens because I was so obsessed with just makeup and i would just buy anything because i could get you know 15 25 percent off of eyeshadows and i just thought it was a good deal but i'm going to be giving those away i don't use them um one palette that i do like though is the rimmel london magnifies uh, spice edition palette really warm my vibes as we know it's really pretty and then i do like these katie cat eyeshadow palettes i haven't gotten a chance to use this one but i did use this one the one with more color and it's gorgeous especially the like 
teal duochrome, the lilac, this gold with like green undertones, so pretty. Love both of these, so I'm keeping both of these. And I do enjoy my CoverGirl True Naked Smoke, like eyeshadow palette. This one is the Goldens. Oh, I love this one. This one's olive greens, bronzes, gold, browns, earth tone kind of colors. So if I were ever to recommend an earth tone eyeshadow palette that you can pick up at the drugstore, I would pick up the Goldens, or I would recommend the Goldens. And then I would use like the Magnifies as like my secondary palette for like transition shade type of thing. But that one right there has a deep brown, it has olive green, has a rose, or it has a gold, it has a, uh, a bronzy gold, and it has a light champagne for inner corner pop. There you go. Putting you guys on. And then I have the Jewels palette, which was a nice pop of color. It had a gold, it had a sparkly black, it had a blue, it had a rose gold right here, and it had like a light frosty kind of white. Pretty as well. And then you get the Smokies, which is completely on the way cooler end. You get silvers, dark purples, blues, uh, gunmetal shades, grays, blacks, all of that. And then you have the Maybelline Burgundy palette, which this palette was better. Like this palette versus like this palette like look at the look at the packaging the packaging just lets you know these shimmers are so much better so buttery so great i did a look with this but it never went live it's just sitting on my youtube channel right now like it's just kind of sitting there so the last two eyeshadow palettes are my i love you so mochi palettes from nyx i love these palettes i love the spongy consistency and i love the difference in color i like how this one is more um more like brighter kind of colors why didn't i ever use the yellow i never use the yellow in this palette i don't know why i was boring i guess and then i have the more uh, wearable purples sparkly blacks uh rose golds uh kind of like pinkish kind of colors so i like both of these palettes i love all of these palettes that are drugstore except for these four right here which i will be putting in my giveaway pile oh and last but not least is my jaclyn hill vault collection i did do a palette series with this palettes this uh collection so if you guys want to check that out go ahead and check out my playlist um just check out my playlist if you want to see any of these eyeshadow palettes in action. Like, I have a lot of these palettes that I did multiple different looks with that you guys can get some ideas with. Everything like that. So, yeah. So, I hope I didn't bore you guys to death. I hope that I kept it kind of fun and interesting. I went through 90 eyeshadow palettes. And, like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, oh wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be a long video. But my mouth is dry right now. I'm kind of like... I need some water. <laughs> um, I just, it, yeah, it, it, it's a lot. I'm a hoarder. That's not even a quarter of my collection. I still have so much other crap in here. Like, I have things that I can literally not buy any more makeup for the next five years and I will be okay. I probably would have to replace, like, concealer and foundation. But everything else, it's 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 great. It's great. I'm very blessed. I'm very thankful for that for what I do. Um, a lot of these palettes were built, bought with my own money. A lot of the Z palettes, a lot of the um, single shadows, um, a lot of the palettes were bought with my own money. But a lot of them recently have been sent to me within PR. Uh, Makeup Geek has sent me PR. Be, uh, Dose of Colors, BH Cosmetics, Tarte. Um, what else? Um, Morphe has recently sent me PR. Uh, NYX has sent me PR once. CoverGirl has sent me PR. Um, but yeah, most of the rest of it, it ha or yeah, the Bobby Brown, the Carity, all that. But most of the rest of it, I bought with my own money. So you know, all thoughts and opinions are definitely my own. This isn't a sponsored video or anything like that. I just want to, you know, let you guys into my collection, let you guys know some of the eyeshadow palettes that I definitely recommend. Some of the ones that I definitely recommend are the Jaclyn Hill First Edition eyeshadow palette. That's one of my favorites. The Morphe 3502 palette is also one of my favorites. Um, the ABH Prism palette, I'm not sure if that's still available, but that was my favorite as well um which which one's another one that i use oh the tart tardiest pro palette that one was one of my like og faves um what else is i like used used like used um 
my Makeup Geek foiled and single eyeshadows, uh, of course, are some of my absolute faves, especially if you get their foiled shadows won't be disappointed um but that's pretty much it like those are like some of the some of the few palettes that i like would rave and definitely recommend to you guys so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed found a new palette that maybe you didn't know about that you're interested about whatever it may be and i will see you guys very very soon Mwah. bye